Okay, those are 180 degree curved wall. Moving on, um, let's make a curved corridor. Okay, so what we've got is we've got this curved wall. It's an 800 outer radius, 700 inner, so it's 100 thick. Now this can be the outer curved wall of our curved corridor. Let's make a curved corridor. So we need an inner curved wall for the inside of our corridor and it needs to be a smaller outer radius than the outer curved wall. Okay, so I'm going to go to um, modes, BSP, bring in another cylinder, snap set to 50, let's whack it there like that. Okay, and in its details we'll make this one also, come on, 48 sided. 48 sided like that. Now, this one needs to be right on the same center line as this one. Right now, this used to be a circle. There's its center line right down there because we made it into an exact half circle, 180, right? So that's its center line there. It happens to be the green axis line, but it may not be the green axis line when you're building it on your map, right? So that's the center line of the outer curve for our corridor. So this inner curve that we're going to build here, well, this inner curve that we're going to build here has to be on the exact same center. Oh, that's great, that. Oh, that's great. And now, yeah, thank you. This has to be on exactly the same center line. So it is, it's on exactly the same center line now. If I select both, look, they're both on the exact same center line. This way and that way, okay, right. Now we've got to set the dimension of our inner wall for our corridor. Okay. Now the outer radius of this inner wall for the inside of the corridor will give us the width of the corridor. Okay. So let's make the height right first. I'll select just this inner um, cylinder. Get the height right first, 400. Snap it to the floor. There we go. And let's make it, oh, we can make it hollow. And let's make its outer radius, the outer radius of this larger curve here is 800. So let's make the outer radius of this smaller curve 400 with an inner radius of 300. So it's also 100 thick. Okay, and it has to be right on that center line, like, like that. Okay, build it. And then we have this circular wall there. In, in the middle of our um, save, in the middle of our outer curve wall. Okay, now let's go around this side. Now, before you commit to carving away the bits you don't want and building straight walls, you can test this to see how wide your corridor is, right? All we've got to do is just play from here and go inside. Come on, God Almighty, play from here. Come on, thank you. Right. Yes. When we're over here, we see the curved wall going round, the outer curved wall, and we just got this circular wall in the middle. But when we actually go inside, when we actually go inside, we're going into what the corridor width will be. That's how wide our corridor is. Now, if you like that width, you go with this inner circle, inner inner um, cylinder at the outer radius that it has. That's giving you the width of your corridor there. If you think this corridor is too narrow, you've got to make the outer radius of the inner circle, making the inner corridor wall smaller. If you think that your corridor needs to be narrower, then you've got to make the outer radius of the inner circle, making the inner corridor wall bigger. Okay, but I think it's a little bit narrow. So I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna make it smaller which will give me a wider corridor. So I'm going to make it outer radius 300, inner radius 200. And again, it's on the center line, right? Let's build and test that. So that circle just becomes smaller, you see, but it makes the corridor wider. Yeah? So now, so now that's the width of my corridor. I like that width. It's a bit wider now, right? So I'm going to go with that. Okay, right. Let's get this built. Show. First, we've got to rotate it so we get a straight line at either end of our 180 degree 
curve. So the whole thing's selected, rotate at 11.25, one snap, boom, done. Then we go to modes, geometry, brush clip, a low snap. Get rid of the bits we don't want, all those bits, like that, all those bits up here, delete, that's it. And now we've got to line those nodes up because again we've got that problem because we rotated the whole thing around to get a vertical straight line here and here. This pair of nodes will not be on that line. Let's put the snap at 50. That pair of nodes there will not be on that line and that pair of nodes will not be on that line. This pair of nodes here won't be on that line and that pair of nodes won't be on that line. So we have to fix that manually. Otherwise this won't line up with our straight wall coming in. So we have to do that same palaver again. Again, unless someone can tell me how to um, snap these nodes to a grid line, we've got to manually do it. So these two nodes have got to be on that line. Let's bring them down and man with no snap and do it. That looks pretty good. There we go. And then this pair of nodes there they are on the money as near as I can possibly get them again please if you know how to snap those nodes to a grid line let me know let's go down to the other end of our curve these two nodes they need to be exactly on this line let's zoom in with the snap off, bring them up and get them right on that line as near as we can. I think that will do like that. And then this pair of nodes. That looks to be on the money. Yes, like that. Okay. So that's that manual or whatever you want to call it, fixed on for those nodes. Come on, snap of 50. So when we bring in our 100 thick wall, which would be from that line to that line in thickness, these two nodes are right on that line to meet it. These two nodes are right on that line to meet it. These two nodes are right on that line. These two nodes are right on that line. So the straight edge walls coming in should line up perfectly. There won't be a little discrepancy between the width of this end plane either end of our curve wall and the width of the straight walls coming in to meet them. Whew, right, now let's do our build. And when we do the build, the carving out bug will happen. Build. That's the carving out bug. We need to fix that. Let me just save first. Hang on. Telephone. Well, that's the telephone answered. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, we've got to fix this carving out problem now. You know how we do that. It's a little bit harder this time, though, because we've got a narrower radius circle. Um, so it's harder to see the individual nodes. And this arrow often will get in the way. But here we go. So let's um, click, deselect, and reselect. It's best to select it in the top editor or something. So select that corner node, hold down command, the next corner, hold down command, next corner, hold down command, final corner. All four corners selected clockwise. Up here, create, build. We've put a face on that edge now. That's, that's that fixed there. I'll just save that because it hasn't crashed for a while, so it's coming up for a crash, I can tell you that. Okay. Oh, and it always crashes when you right click and drag that could be the crash no no okay right and these four that one hold down command that one hold down command that one hold down command that one all four selected up here create build and we put a plane of surface on that end of the wall and that's fixed let's save all this Okay, right, there's our inner corridor wall built. As I say again, the outer radius of that inner corridor wall determines the thickness of your corridor, because the curves determine the thickness of the corridor. 
um, and you put the straight wall lines on afterwards. Okay. Right, let's go back to regular mode, not geometry mode. So there's our curved inner wall built, and now we just got to bolt straight line walls to it so we can use these ones. Snap set to 50, Alt, drag a copy of that straight line wall off and bolt it to that end of the inner curved wall, Alt, drag a copy of that off and bolt it to the other end of that inner wall, build, done. Now all we've got to do is fix the recurring um, pattern of the texture on this inner curve. So let's do it from this side. Select one plane in details, select matching brush, align surface plane, oh, there it is, there's the texture right over the curve nicely like that. Okay. Once there, if we have a curved corridor, let's go in and have a look. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah. Round the outside, round the outside, round the outside. Into our curved corridor. Lovely. Like that. Yeah. And if we want to, Oh, I nearly fell off the edge. We can go into this in a bit. Now, if you wanted to in your map, if this was visible, you could put a critical power up in here or something and force people to come in here to get it. And when they're inside this bit, they're trapped. It's a vulnerable position for them to be in. Whatever. You can make use of that in a bit as well if you want. But there's our curved corridor. Lovely jubbly. Okay. I say do make a curved corridor. And obviously, you know, you start with the outer radius, you build the inner radius, and the degree of the curve is, is whatever you want it to be. So if the outer degree curve is 90 degrees, you make your inner degree curve 90 degrees. If the outer degree curve is an odd degree, like from here to there, then you make your inner degree curve from here to the same level to match. So you can bolt your two straight walls coming in like that. Okay, there you go, let's move on.